Guys, what's up? Alright, today we're going to be talking about how to pick out your first BMX bike. So, uh, this is for custom, not for, like, if you're buying a mongoose or something. Yeah, don't buy or a mongoose. stock. Don't, yeah, don't buy a mongoose. Uh, don't buy hypers. Unless you're, like, little. Unless yeah, you're little, unless you're, like, little. But if you're, like, teenage and want to actually get good, buy custom. Stock bikes aren't, aren't always the way to go. Well, I mean, some... If you don't have the money, stock bikes are good, but... Yeah, like, I started out... Well, I still run a stock frame and forks and uh, rim, but... Once we start changing stuff, it gets better. I just bought uh, the Duo Stunner White Walls from Dance Comp. He actually has a other frame that's not. Yeah, I got a, I got a Fly uh, Lago, and uh, I can't uh, put it on this frame yet because I gotta. Because uh, he doesn't know what Spanish bottom bracket are. No, I don't know. I forgot to buy the Spanish bottom bracket. I spent all the money on tires. I really needed tires, though. Alright, so uh, with bikes, there's different sizes for the bike. And when, what the size is, it's the top tube. It's the length from the middle of the head tube to the middle of the seat tube. So, mine is a 20.8, and I believe yours is a 20.6. Mine's, mine's a 20.6 right now. The new frame I got is 21.2. So uh, that has to not do that has to do as much with height as it does preference. Uh, I could be running a longer frame, but I choose not to because it's easier to do spin tricks and stuff. And that also has to do with the bottom of it. If you have a shorter bottom, you'll definitely be able to spin and do manuals a lot yeah. easier. Um, bars, bars, get bars that fit your size. Don't get them because the size. Like, oh, I got thirty. Well, these are thirty inch bars. Those are meant for me. Like I'm like I run twenty eight bars. Yeah, I'm almost six foot. Big bars don't make you cool. Yeah. Big bars we used to cool. actually think that, but yeah. uh, no, big bars just screw your knees over when you're trying to archer and Yeah, tricks. see if you cut your bars down, if you buy big bars and you, and you can cut them down, cut them down to where they're comfortable, because my I was running 28s and I wasn't spinning and I couldn't really control a lot of stuff. Yeah, bigger and bars, a uh, little more controlled, smaller bars, easier to spin. Yeah, um, I was running... I just got these Shadow Voltas, um, and uh, like they're in 30s, and I was like, oh man, these are big, I don't know how these are going to go. Well, I started doing it, and my Hang 5's got a lot more control, everything got more control, it's really nice, but you gotta, fin you gotta find your size, that's how you get more control. Right. Um, what you're going to want to look for is a Kamali frame, not a high tent steel frame, oh. I believe yours is high tent steel, right? This is not tomorrow. Oh, alright. Yep. Um, rims, there's two styles of rims, well there's a hundred different types of styles, but there's two types, single wall and double wall. Uh, his are single walls, nice. yeah. which it's easier but easier to bend. They're not as strong as doubles. Yeah, double wall, it's like an actual wall yeah, or yeah. rim inside. Doesn't make it way more because my rims are a little bit lighter than, my rims are actually the lightest rims on the market right now. Um, and hubs, you definitely gonna want to get sealed hubs. It's not like, yeah. well, you don't need them, but they're good to have because they don't wear down as fast. Yeah, my front rim, it's a, I took it off my old stock bike because my other one's bent. And uh, that one doesn't got sealed bearings, but my back one does. Um, You can run brakes. We don't run brakes because uh, they get in the way, they tangle yeah. up a lot, we too, and they add weight. Yeah, we haven't ran brakes for about three years now. Yep. Um, another thing is your chain. There's two types of chain, and mine's an exception to a third one. There's a, no, yours is, oh yeah. Mine's a, all right, so there's a half-link chain and a full-link chain. He's got half. And what a half-link chain is, is it's a chain that instead of two of the metal plates go on this, like this, these actually are shrunk, and then they get bigger, and then they shrink as they go down. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll bring the bike up, and then I'll put a picture at the end of the video. But that's sort of, this is a, it's an exo chain, which means it has an extra plate of metal on them that protects it from grinds, and it's always something nice if you're, Looking to grind a lot. This one, you got the full length, the standard chain, big links that don't really mean anything. They're weaker than the half links. Half links, uh, they're a lot stronger. And then uh, sprockets, there's spline drive, non-spline drive. We can't really show you, but what the spline drive one does is a normal sprocket will sit on your uh, crank, yeah. on your spindle, yeah, you and it'll spin bolt. around until you put a bolt in it, and a Spline drive sprocket, the spindle's like this, and the sprocket kind of lines up so it can't turn, you don't need a bolt for it. As you can see on mine, I don't use a bolt. And then uh, another thing is cranks, one piece cranks, don't, will break really easily. Mine they'll are, bend, actually they won't break, they'll bend. Oh, yeah. I used, to, I used to have one piece cranks on my super old bike, I bent them to where if I rode somebody with straight cranks, uh, it felt weird. 
Yeah, so three piece cranks and two piece cranks always want to go there. Metal pedals and plastic pedals always preference we run plastics. I sometimes run metal. Uh, and one of the last things besides pegs, which is all the preference if you want to grind and it sort of ruins if you don't have hub guards, but no. is your hub. There's two types of hubs. There's cassette and free coaster. What a cassette or what a free coaster is is when you back pedal how my cranks move right now. It forces you to back pedal when you're going backwards. Um, and a free wheel or free coaster will just kind of keep them straight when you go back. Yeah. So it's all the preference what you want to get. Um, one of the other small things are like my front wheel, rim, whatever you want to say. Uh, the hub actually has female instead of male. The normal bolts. Yeah, they take Allen wrenches. Uh, pivotal seats, rail seats, and uh, no, well, they came on really, a tripod seat. Yeah, you don't want to really have a rail and seat. Seat combo. Yeah, the seat post combos are all right. They're not comfy. Uh, well, some are, but they don't soft. make them like yeah, that. Yeah, they don't make them comfy, but uh, ours are pivotal. I want we want, we both want to get uh, fat seats because it's a lot more easier to do some stuff with it. Pinch it, seat yeah. man. Well, uh, it all depends on where you're riding. You see if you're riding it high or low. Some riders like it low. Some riders like it really high. We like it about medium range. Yeah, enough to get uh, enough to get two fingers for me around it. Uh, for me, it's Three, two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, but it's for everything you want. It like bars. A lot of my, he used to tell me I'd run my bars too far forward. Oh, I'm getting ready to end the video, so I'm um, just push the bike. Yeah, side. he uh, used to yell at me. For riding my bars too far forward, because I guess I was riding too far forward. It's all preference. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I started riding my bars not forward but straight on. Yeah, he uh, put my bars on to where he rides his, and I've been riding them ever since because uh, I didn't feel I, I got a little lazy and didn't want to do it, so I got used to riding it like this. Nice. And uh, if you uh, look, I have an ODI bar on this side and a crappy rubber one on Shadow. Oh on yeah, those side. are also preference with yeah. whether you get. Metal or aluminum. Yeah, whatever. I mean, um, metal ones are nice. They last a really long time. I, I recommend metal. But plastic breaks away and it could stick into your bars. And uh, the rubber ones are the same thing. The only reason I'm running the two is because I broke my other ODI trying to get it off my old bars. Uh, but it's all preference, so what you want. Um, another thing with the bars, I don't see a difference with it is up sweep and down sweep and back sweep and front sweep. Uh, you don't. I guess you can have a preference if you ride bars for like years, but for me, I can change bars and get used to them in a week. So up yep. sleep, down sleep, it doesn't seem to affect the tricks I do. Yep. So uh, I'm going to end this video right now. So hopefully this video helped you, and uh, good luck buying your first bike. Yep.